Well, if you are tired of the same old holiday menu, Shelly Tomlinson has some great ideas for you. She's a radio host and the author of more than 125 recipes, including what she calls holiday hurt yourself bread. Welcome to the Harvey Show, Shelly. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. Okay, so we're going to get into that, uh, the, the title of that uh, of your recipe in just right. a moment, but you have a very distinct title of being the belle of all things Southern. So how did you get that title? Well, I've come to find out it's really easy to get a title. You can have a title <laughs> if you want one. It just happened so easily. I had a humor book out on the market and another one coming out, uh -huh. and my publisher wanted to title me, and they were shooting out ideas that my family would have just died over like the Dixie Diva okay and I said let's not yeah. and so I run a website called All Things Southern and I'm a bell so I said why don't we call me all bell of all things Southern okay. and they acted like I found Elvis at the hit and get <laughs> okay I hear this really heavy accent where are you from I'm from the northeast corner of Louisiana a little bitty town called Lake Providence okay and you told us how you got here uh, when we were in the green room how did you get here? well to get anywhere from Lake Providence I uh -huh. had to take a couple of mule rides in a kayak and <laughs> several planes and a horse and buggy and then I finally arrived. And you made it here. I okay, did. so what do we have today? We have holiday heart yourself bread. I titled it holiday heart yourself bread because if you're not careful, you can do exactly that. Okay. So we have a half a cup of melted butter, just room temperature butter right there. And then we have two cups of mozzarella cheese. So we're <laughs> already, you know, game on okay. right there with just the butter and the mozzarella. And we're just going to stir this together well. And then we have a half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay, that's where you hurt yourself, right? Right yeah, there. this this is a hurt yourself <laughs> quota. I even have a story about the mayonnaise. We don't have time to tell it, but uh -huh. uh, Barney Fife confiscated my mayonnaise um, on the way down here. Oh, okay. I, and we won't even get into that at the airport. And then we have, uh, this is a cup of chopped black olives. This is also going to up that flavor. And then we have a teaspoon of minced garlic mm -hmm. and a teaspoon of onion powder. We're there. Okay. We're already there. That was we're really just going to stir this up. And now, then we're going to slather it on our bread. Okay, so when would you prepare this? I know we're preparing Thanksgiving Day right. um, menu, so. This is the type of thing you want to have when everybody's getting there and they're starving. Okay. And you really want them out of your hair so you can cook in the kitchen. You know, you either put them <laughs> to work in the kitchen or you make sure that there is food there for them. Okay. So see how easy that was? That really We're just was. going to take some of this and put it on our bread. And we'll put it in the toaster and just keep talking while it toasts and then we can try it. And, and we're talking about how much time in prep? Not a lot at all. Oh, you saw how easy that was. Right. That was super easy. Well, tell me, can you buy the olives already crushed, or do you have to? You can. Mm -hmm. You can. You can buy your olives chopped. Chopped. We're going to put this on broil, and it's just going to take two to three minutes, and all we want to do is get this good and bubbly. Okay. So that we can hurt ourselves. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, tell me about your new project. It's called Hungry is a Mighty Fine Sauce. Absolutely. And it is a storytelling cookbook. Wait, wait. Can we fit another piece of... Uh, Yes, Bread we can. There. Oh, we, oh, we think we want to feed the crew. That's right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Stefan is going to come on set and take my piece. So well, I just want to make sure you well, give him a piece. Well, let's do this so that Stefan doesn't take your bread because okay. that would be a shame, <laughs> wouldn't it? Watch this. We'll put two in that little toaster. Oh, that and works. Look, we'll slide oh, okay. that back. There we go. We're good to go. Okay, so now you can tell me about Hungry is a Mighty Fine Sauce. Sure. It's a storytelling cookbook is what it is. I have humor books out on the market and mm -hmm. have a faith book out on the market. And my publisher said, Shelly, I want you to put everything that it is that you love in this one book. So it is a cookbook. It has 125 recipes, 80 beautiful photographs. I know. And what? it has humor in it. So there's it's narrative storytelling, so it has humor and um, inspirational features sprinkled through it as well. I mean, I want to get to, I should have, I should have done my homework and had these Isn't photos. It gorgeous? Can you get it? I mean, just beautiful. That's my what... daughter-in-law actually took these photographs. Oh, really? And so I love the family project um, idea. My daughter is a food blogger, and she has some recipes. Okay, here's in there another as well. one. Here's what is uh, this called? That is a broccoli Can you get this day? Get a shot of the broccoli oh, look at cornbread. That. Look at that. That looks yeah. so good. I think my mama whipped that up just the other evening. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you did something for your mom and her friends once before that you, you talk about in the beginning of your project. Oh, I think I, I forgot that story was actually in there, but I did. I had a girl party for my mama and her sisters mm -hmm. at my house. We had lost my Aunt Elaine, and I just wanted to give them a special day at the house. Okay, no fail Christmas Fudge. And I think we have some of that on the table here, right? I brought you several <laughs> recipes. 
please. <laughs> we have the no fail fudge because, you know, we like chocolate fudge. All of us do, but chocolate fudge doesn't always like us mm -hmm. and it doesn't yeah. set up. This is a no fail fudge, absolutely guaranteed no fail. And then I also brought my cinnamon candy and Shelly's highly favored lemon bark candy. Okay, and so now. This is not your typical recipe book. I mean, you have some really fascinating recipes in here that go from one end of the menu to the next. So, mm -hmm. for a person who's preparing for Thanksgiving Day, right. what's what's a staple they want to have on the table? Oh my gosh, well at my house, we couldn't have Thanksgiving without having Mama's cornbread dressing. Okay. So Mama's chicken and dressing is in there as well, and I was able to divulge that recipe from her. She's a Southern <laughs> cook, so they don't always know exactly what they put in it, but I nailed her down. And so I have it to a science and, and you need it. And here's one of the things I like because a lot of a lot of cooking is passed down. Mm -hmm. And so my grandmother would say a pinch of this and a pinch of that, right? Right, right, we're good. And so you really don't know how much, but you've taken the time to measure everything out precisely. And that's what was hard for me because okay. I am like my mom. When I decided to do a cookbook, I really have to think about what it is that I do with those ingredients because we are kind of known for just popping them, you know, in there and not really measuring, but they are measured out for this. Now, you're a radio host, um, a popular blogger, a speaker. How do you do all of this? A mom? No, I know you're a mother. Right, Ooh. right. <laughs> I Get am. Those critters. I'm a mom and grandmom of five beautiful kids. I call them the uh, fabulous Wait. five. Okay, before you. Okay, before I we like find. mine a little darker. Okay. May I have it? You Can may be a little darker. Okay, Absolutely. I like it a little darker, so okay. and crispier. Okay. I, who, are, who am I to tell the cook what to do? That's why you don't want to put me in the I, kitchen. No, I would like it a little darker too. I didn't know if we were running out of time. No, and you're so good. I was kind of watching you're that good. thing. You're good. You're good. But no, you asked how I do it all. I'm uh -huh. so glad you asked that question because it allows me to glorify my Jesus because that's mm -hmm. how I do it all. Okay. He is my everything and he is my strength and so as long as I keep everything yielded to him mm -hmm. and I spend that quality time just nourishing myself at his feet, everything works. So Shelly, I know it's all about family for you and I know mm -hmm. you, you wrote this book because you wanted to bring families together. So talk about the importance of having a meal together. There's so much that happens at a meal, mm -hmm. and it's not just the sitting around the table, which is wonderful, eating all this good food, but it's the food prep. It's the cleanup afterwards oh, okay. that allows a family mm -hmm. to get together, and stories are born. Stories are retold at my house that we've been telling forever, but everybody laughs again mm -hmm. because it's your family's stories. Right. So that's what happens at a meal. I say every good meal comes with a story because I really believe that, and I love the storytelling that happens around the table and, again, in the kitchen when you're prepping. Okay, and we want you to know that you can get all the recipes that we're preparing today, the menu that we have today for the fudge and all of that. That's on the Harvest Show Facebook page, but also your website is the bell of all things southern. That's correct. Dot com, right? That's correct. Okay, Stefan is coming in. You can bring out the bread. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do this. Yeah, now this is more toasted like I would like it. I, and I actually, like the back piece. We'll let actually, stick. I would want it. Yes, I would like it <laughs> is more. Is chocolate? Like no. this. Okay. He, he wants to know if it's chocolate. No, this is not chocolate. Okay, now. Again, oh don't hurt yourself. That's going to hurt me. Look at that. It's I'm good. Not a I'm going to hurt myself right now. It's this got, is where I stop doing all the it's talking. It's got all the good oh stuff gosh. in that it. Gooey. Oh, oh now no. that's even that's better. Your right purse. You, you got the piece that we mm. need right there. My gosh. How good is that? Oh, so good. You have that ready. Would you get this cheese off my mouth? What, 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 Let's see what we got here. Okay. 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 I've got you fixed, girlfriend. Okay. Friend. That's good. not proper. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make me feel at home. It does indeed. It is so good. Now you look. Okay, you're going to do good. You just pulled that cheese off of my there. beard. Okay, you're good. You serve this to your guests, and you're going to put them in a good mood before you, you sit down to the table. Wait a minute. How did Pastor Charles get a kit? Pastor Charles. Ready to eat. Pastor yeah, Charles, I have a piece here. for you as well. And look, we have samples of candy. If everybody else wants to just mm. join us, which up one here. is this now? That is the cinnamon candy. It is oh. to die for. Someone just stole fudge. But we, you know, he ran right out of camera. And that's the lemon bark candy. So mm -hmm. if you like chocolate and lemon bark, you know, the you're secret weapon <laughs> in this recipe is mm -hmm. the mayo. Oh, yeah. 
And I mean, don't use, now I know I'm in Yankee land kind of, but y'all please don't use Miracle Wheel. Don't use Miracle Wheel. It's just evil. You gotta use mayonnaise. Okay, Natural Miracle Whip. Yeah, Miracle Whip is evil. It's so plastic. go with mayonnaise. All right. I love sauce. you, Shelly. You can it's come back any sauce. day. Thank you. You are precious. <laughs> to connect, you get where's my camera? To connect no, with Shelly. Okay. okay, so to connect with Shelly Tomlinson and to get a copy of her new project is called Hungry is a Mighty Fine Sauce. Mm. You can go to belloftallthingssouthern.com or you can go to harvest-tv.com. Stay with us. Harvest continues in just a moment. I mean.